Hello, my name is Jamie Brand with the AgriVision Equipment Group. Just uh, out looking at some corn here today, just giving you an update on what we've seen. We've, we've tried to do that here periodically, just kind of give you an idea of what we're seeing in some of our areas as we've chased some of these planters and evaluated it. A lot of these corn hybrids just aren't rooted the same, that we, we don't really recognize the root system this year um, of the same hybrid that we, we recognized last year. This is actually a DeKalb 6067, and, and for those of you that have planted that hybrid, you're gonna expect a, a more biomass aggressive root underneath that. And I think we're seeing that across most of our hybrids. Um, certainly they're feeling a lot of resistance based on just some of the soil structure that we've, we've, we've put this into coming off of last fall and this spring. So we're excited here um, about being canopied up. We're sitting at about V12. And as we look at it, um, this corn was planted on April 18th. And it's not uncommon for us by uh, an April 18th to be pretty close to being tasseled by the 4th of July. We are actually, as I teared back the leaves to get to the tassel, we're about six leaves away from the tassel coming out. So if we figure about three days, um, we're looking at about another 18 days before we're probably gonna see tassels on this field. Um, we're looking forward to following this through and these nitrogen trials through, but that's kind of where we're sitting down here uh, at the Red Oak plot.